When we're talking about frontline ALK uh, patient management, assuming it's stage four disease and it's not concurrent chemo radiation or surgically resectable, so we're talking with advanced disease, I think certain things are very clear cut. It's very clear cut that patients should get TKI therapy rapidly. We know these patients respond exceedingly well and can have a very prolonged duration of control. Crizotinib has been the mainstay of treatment, but now we have two head-to-head -head trials that have compared a next-generation ALK inhibitor to crizotinib and shown very clear benefits on multiple parameters, including progression-free survival, overall survival, and intracranial disease control. Um, the ALEX study and the JALEX study were two studies, one a Japanese and one global, comparing electinib to crizotinib, and the results clearly showed that electinib was superior. That has now for some time been licensed and reimbursed in the National Health Service through the NHS England Commissioning Programme, and it has been my standard of care for some time. Now, that's already established. More recently, the ALTA-1 trial has presented its results, and this is another ALK inhibitor, next-generation ALK inhibitor, brigatinib, again, compared to grisotinib, and actually showing quite similar results. It looks highly active, very good progression-free survival benefits, and uh, uh, very good intracranial disease control benefits. So on the face of it, another potential option that is highly um, uh, effective, the question is, well, which of these two drugs should one use? Should one use electinib or should one use brigatinib? And uh, the reality is that can only be answered through a head-to-head -head clinical trial. Uh, that clinical trial hasn't been done. And so any inference one makes about which drug may be the preferred option is um, really clouded in all sorts of potential um, uh, misinterpretations of data. So I'd be very reluctant to put my hand on my heart and say one drug is better than the other. But what I would say is as a treating clinician, we already have a drug that is licensed and approved first line. It's a very well tolerated drug, uh, electinib. And so for me to change my practice, I do need quite good evidence that whatever it is I'm changing to is superior to that. Or if it's the same, if it's the just as effective, price may come into it, you know, the cheaper of the best options, but there has to be a reason to change. And so I think for me, I don't see it catching on immediately in terms of brigatinib use because there is already a, a very well-established drug that is very well tolerated in that space.